right, everyone. Hello, hello, and welcome. Thank you for joining us today. I'm so pleased to introduce our speaker for this session, Oliver Velez, Chief Trading Officer and CEO of iFund Traders, an international best-selling author and a world-renowned trader and entrepreneur. To our wonderful viewers, please type any questions that you may have into, live, into the live chat box. In time permitting, I will announce questions at the end of Oliver's presentation so that he may answer them. And with that said, Oliver, thank you so much for speaking today. If you need anything, I'll be right here. Floor's all yours. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you once again for uh, joining me, traders. Um, uh, today, we're going to jump right into um, a very special topic called how to manage your trades like a pro. There's a great deal of focus in this industry and has always been a, a major focus on trade selection, um, how to enter trades, and the predominant focus tends to be always placed on profit taking. What a lot of people don't realize is that knowing how to manage a trade once you're in it all the way to the point where you're supposed to exit, that is where mastery lies. It doesn't lie as much as even in trade selection or entering or even profit taking. The crowning jewel of market play is proper trade management. So we're going to talk about that today. Now, what I want to do is breeze through who I am. You can always find out who I am. But what I do want to bring your attention to are my social media outlets. Guys, listen, I have very, I have three very popular um YouTube channels that are 100% focused on trading, English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Um, I want you to follow me there every single day. We put out, I put out a piece of content that's dedicated to raising your level of market sophistication. So get on that channel, subscribe, turn all, turn notifications on so that you don't miss a single thing every single day. All right. Of course, um, I'm always putting out content on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. So I'd love for you to follow me there. Um, tomorrow, because I was actually cut off from the show yesterday, that was my fault. That was not the show's fault. Um, I always try to jam so much information into these sessions that sometimes I go overboard. So yesterday, was, that was the case. I will be doing a deep dive into that same topic on my YouTube channel tomorrow at 2 p.m. New York time. So if you want to join me live there, we're going to do a deep dive on dollar cost averaging on steroids, okay? This is so appropriate for today's market. You don't want to miss that. So join me there. Oliver Velez Trading is the channel, and it's going to be in all three languages, okay? All right, so let's talk today about the eight components, the eight components of a trade. This is where I need to start before we, going in, we delve into specific trade management. People need to understand who step their foot into this industry that every trade is really made up of eight parts. Part number one, identifying your opportunity. Very important. If you don't have a method by which to identify the most powerful and low risk, high probability odds situations, if you don't know what they are or how to identify them, then everything else that follows in a trade has to be wrong, right? The basis for finding a trade is trading. You have to be able to decipher out of every possible movement a stock or any other financial item can deliver, what, what item is a playable item? What action, what event is a playable event? Right? I teach my traders that there are seven key, well, seven to eight key playable events. And I teach them these seven to eight key playable events. And those are the only events that they play. That's the only events they need. Location, where are those events occurring? So location, just like real estate, just knowing how to build a house is not enough. Its value is largely derived by its location. Same thing. It's not just enough to know what to play, but you have to know whether or not that item is in a proper location or an inappropriate location. So location is very important. The state of the overall environment at the time. So you can get the play right, you can get the location right, but the overall state can be against you. And all of that's for naught. You have to have an entry method. My traders learn three ways to enter a play. You have to have an initial stop mechanism, system, method, right? You gotta know how to protect yourself for those scenarios where your trades just simply don't work right off the bat. You have to have an ad mechanism, an ad method, an ad system. No trader becomes 
a big successful trader without knowing when and where to add to a winning play. All right. You can't become really a true master without having a strong ad game. You have to add in this game. All right. Profit taking, of course, that's what everyone's after. But most people take profits based on a feeling. And the vast majority of people actually take profits in a trade through fear. All right. So they hope in negative territory and fear in profitable territory. They have their emotions back when you're supposed to fear in negative territory and hope in profitable territory. But you have to take profits based on rules. Your profit taking game should be rule based. My traders have three rules by which they can take profits. All right. If they're taking profits outside of those three specific rules, they're feeling again, they're gambling again. All right. And then we come to today's presentation, the management part of the game. Now, the reason why it is last on this list is because trade management, as I mentioned, is the crowning jewel of all market play. This is where you shine as a master or you're just a regular trader. All right. This is the defining factor. Nothing else on this list is as important as all eight are. The final one, trade management, is by far the one that you need. It is the crowning jewel. Whenever I want to know how far a trader has progressed in their trading, all right, I look at their losses. I want to see how they lose. And, and after that, I want to see how they manage a trade. I'm not, I'm interested in profitability last. It's how do you take a loss when everything you plan doesn't go your way? Whom do you, who do you become in that moment? All right. Do you lose responsibility or do you step up to the plate? And are you the man or woman you're supposed to be? And I want to see how you manage a trade between your entry and your exit. All right. So entry and exit can actually have an element of luck, but how you manage between those two points can't ever be lucky. All right. You're either good at it or you're bad at it. Simple as that. So we're going to talk about this trade management. Now, there are eight ways to, we, I teach my traders, there are eight trade management tools, techniques. We're going to cover two today. All right. So two today. And they're, they're all eight are very powerful. These two are powerful. Can't give you all eight, but we'll cover two today. All right. And the two we're going to cover is what I call the big bar stop method and the bar by bar stop method. Now, at first glance, they may sound basic, but we're going to put them together in a very sophisticated way right now. All right. So let's first cover the big bar stop protocol. That's what I call it, the big bar stop protocol. And what this is, I've grabbed um, a two-minute chart of Apple. So my traders know that we use the two-minute chart predominantly if we're really trading for income, the two-minute and the five-minute, but predominantly the two-minute chart. All right. And we use two primarily move primary moving averages. Most of you who follow my work know this, the 20 period moving average, the blue line and the 200 period moving average, the red line. Now we're looking for basically strong liftoffs off of a rising 20 period moving average. Now this is Apple today. I grabbed this literally about 30 to 40 minutes before this presentation. I want you to look at every single strong liftoff from the rising 20 period moving average on Apple. So if you look here, here is a rise, here's a strong liftoff the 20 and the 200 period moving average together. Here's another strong lift off from around the 20 period moving average. This tail indicates that it was a blast off like a torpedo right around the 20. This tail represents a blast off like a torpedo from around the 20. This tail represents a blast off like a torpedo from around the 20 and so forth and so on. All right. Now, here's where this becomes important. We're looking to dive into the initial or one of these strong liftoffs of either the 20 or the 200, all right? So I'm gonna clear this out and I'm gonna show you. Now, let's say we were, we were fortunate enough to grab this one. We jump into this bar before this two minute bar is finished. All right, our initial stop is gonna be under the bar. I don't want my traders losing more than one bar. So if they're jumping into that bar, don't lose the reason for your trade. This bar is the reason for your trade. Why would you allow the market to take away your reason? All right. If there's no longer a reason to be in the trade, you should be out. So the stop goes under the reason, which is this liftoff of a major moving average, this bar. So we're inside of that bar. Now, to follow the big bar by big bar trailing stop method, here's what you would do. You would simply keep this initial stop there right under that bar 
until you get the next big sizable bar. Now, this is somewhat subjective. So you have to know your stock. You have to know what a sizable bar is for the stock. But we can pretty much say these, none of these are sizable bars, but this one is. All right. So now I'm going to raise my stop right under the next sizable bar. That's the next big bar. This is the big bar by big bar stop approach. And it's one of my favorite of the eight that I teach my traders because it does an amazing job of keeping you locked into running plays. Now, we don't always have running plays, but when they run, my God, does the big bar stop approach really keep you in. And it keeps you basically locked into what is significant. So many people get tied up into the little minutia that a play can deliver. And you have to be able to determine what's minutia, what's significant, and what isn't significant. And what isn't, what is significant is any sizable bar, red or green, by the way. The color doesn't matter. So the very next sizable bar, I would say, is this one from high to low. You see that one? From high to low. So I'm going to go under this one, high to low. That's a fairly long bar. This one, it doesn't have to be solid color. It can be tail oriented as well. Now I'm under this one. Now I'm under this one. Now I'm under this one. Now I'm under that one. All right. And now I'm under this one. And now I'm under the red. Remember, it doesn't matter whether it's green or red. Boom. And I'm out. Now, most traders who, it, who would enter, right, this, this play right here, let me change the color. Most, most traders who would grab that bar, most traders could not last all the way to here. I'm telling you, right, there's a lot of noise in there. There's a lot of red, salt and pepper. There's a lot of kind of doing nothing like the stock is, is going to fail, but none of that really matters unless a big bar is broken. Now, the reason why big bar stops work so marvelously is because a trend that is healthy usually will not violate a big bar. It will violate small bars, medium bars, regular bars. But if it's truly healthy, its big bars will stay fully intact. And that's how you can determine whether or not your stock is still very very healthy. It doesn't violate, boom, right there, a big bar. And when it starts violating big bars, you know its power is waning. All right. And that's why this is such a powerful trade management tool. And if you can ignore the noise and just wait for the next bar, you will ride some things to great profits. Guys, I just wanted to throw this in here. This is my profits today trading Apple. Guys, I've traded Apple virtually every single day of my life for the last 18 years. I do trade it a little bit less and other things a little bit more now, I, I guess over the last year or so, but this was my go-to stock virtually for the last two decades, if you will, all right? Um, now, let's go to Microsoft. Same thing, guys, same thing. This is from today, all right? And, and if, I, if I were to go bar by bar here. Let's say, remember, we need a surge off of either the 200 or the blue 20, right? Doesn't really matter. All right. So we get a surge off of the 200. Boom. My trader is in this bar with a stop under the bar. The reason. Now the next big bar is this one. Now I'm going to move the stop under that big bar. The next big bar is this one. Some people might say this one. Okay. We'll go here. And we'll go there to the next one. And then the next one here, the next one here, unless you did this one and got stopped out, the next one here, the next one there, and the next one there. And we're really still in the play. Now, some traders will say, well, Oliver, why didn't you pick this one? I'll get to that in a minute. Um, why are you not picking the big bars that are away from the blue line? This is a very important point. I only want you to choose the big bars that are near the 20 period moving average. The big bars that are away from it don't really matter. Now, the only wrinkle that I see on this particular trade is that it's possible that you would have called this red bar a fat bar and gotten stopped out there. And that's okay. 
Um, this is a re-entry bar and you start the game again. Surge off the 200, jump right back in there and start big barring your way. But this bar, I don't want you to use because it's not near the 20. This one's near, that one's near, this one's near, this one's near, this one's near, the low of this one's near. I don't want you doing it way up there, all right? Now, that is very, very powerful, all right? And we can keep, guys, we can keep going here. Uh, da, 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 da. We can keep going. Here, I, I, I just pulled up the cues and the spiders. So if, you, if you're an index trader and like to trade the overall market to eliminate um, individual stock choice, the same thing can be applied here, guys. You are big barring, big bar. And let's say you're in on this bar or in on this bar. Here's your initial stop. Where's your next big bar here? Where's your next big bar there? 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 And boom, boom, you're out there. And you rode this entire thing. Cha-ching. <laughs> um, most people don't have the ability to ride their profits like this. And, and the big bar stop adjustment protocol will help you stay in relevant trends. Um, same thing on the spiders here. Same thing, guys. No need to go over this over and over again. Big bar, 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 boom, out. Okay, now let's go to the bar by bar protocol. I think that's important. And then when you put these two together, oh my God, it becomes a truly powerful, almost twin-like um, trade management system. So this is the bar by bar, not the big bar by big bar. This is any size bar, every bar, bar by bar, every one. So when do we apply the bar by bar? Whatever size it is, I'm going to put my stop under the bar. Well, we want to do that after we get a lift away from the 20 period moving average. A lift away from the 20 period moving average. You see that? A lift away from the 20 period moving average. A lift away from the 20 period moving average. So I need space or distance between the stock and the 20 to deploy the bar, the every bar stop method. And if I don't have space, remember it's the big bar. So whenever there's no space or very little space, it's big bar. I don't have space down here. I'm using the big bar. But when I lift away, so you want lift away every bar, big bar down here, lift away every bar down here, big bar. So let's go over this very quickly here before I run out of time. All right. How are we doing on time? We're doing good. Everything OK? Doing good. Right. Fantastic. How, how long do I have? It's 458 now. We have till 510, so a little over 10, 12 minutes. Boom, boom, boom. I love it. OK. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to put these things together. You're, you're jumping into this play on a fat bar. You're using the initial stop there. We don't know what it's going to do. That's why we have a stop. But it starts to run, 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 run away, at which point you can start now protecting some of those gains by going bar by bar right under the low and take profits there. All right. Now, if you decide to take profits there, I would strongly encourage that you take partial, maybe not all, and that you have a strong, develop a strong re-entry game. So I want my traders, if they're going to take profits away, don't let the trade go. There might be another opportunity. There's the next surge off of the 20 period moving average. You jump, you add back to the play there. Now your stops here and you play again. All right, or you, you're adding to the original play here. Away, bar by bar out on partial or all. Just have a strong, a strong re-entry game. All right, I want to see a surge off this. Boom. Now my stop is here. The game begins. Now, notice here, I don't get high enough to go bar by bar. So I'm going to keep that stop. 
right under that initial fat bar or long bar. Here's the next long bar. I'm going to move it up here. Here's another long, relatively long bar. I'm going to move it up. So I'm protecting more and more of my profits. Here is another fat bar. I'm going to move that up. But now I start to lift away from the 20 out from a bar by bar approach as I step away from the stock, take profits there. If I have any left, I'm going to go under that big bar and I start to kind of get away here. Okay. In which case, anyway, your big bar gets you out there. All right. So by combining big bar, when you don't, when you're not that far away from the 20, and when you lift away from the 20, going tightening to bar by bar to get out of all or part with a strong reentry game, my God, you're playing the markets like a true freaking professional. That's what we want here, right? It's no guesswork. It's no rolling dice. You're not calling up the psychic hotline. You're not asking your friend. You know, you're not relying on the butterflies in your stomach. This is systematic. You need to play systematically. All right. And this is a systematic approach to trade management that will have you um, really, uh, uh, really capturing very, very impressive gains. Same thing on Microsoft here, guys. Look, same thing entering initial stop. Big bar is next, not far from the 20, but I lift far. Now I'm bar by bar out right there. Strong re-entry game. Boom. Stop. Lift, lift, lift. Bar by bar out. All right. Profit take. Strong re-entry game on a lift. Boom. Stop. All right. Uh-oh. Maybe I got nicked out here. We can talk about that. Re-enter, re-enter, or re-enter. All right. Boom. Okay, big bar, away, out, you get the game. This is the game. All right, now, we don't have trending days every single day like today. I understand that, but that's why you need more than one style or one approach to trading. You need approaches that are in choppy markets. You need appro approaches that are in trending markets up and down. You need high volatile tactics and no volatility tactics as well. You need all the different types of moods that the market can throw at you covered. And that's when you can start really making a living from this. So we get this, guys. This is um, just combining it all. One last time for you here. One last time for you here. Combining it all, power surge off the 20. All right, power surge off the 20. If you consider you getting high enough here, you're taking profits somewhere here, but here's your re-entry. You're definitely away from the 20 here, bar by bar out. Take some profits, get back in on the next surge. Boom, stop. Next surge, here's the next bar here. Boom, next big bar here, not too far. Now we're far, bar by bar out. If you keep some, you got to protect the rest under this big bar, under that big bar, and you get it. And most people who don't have a systematic approach to ride these things out, they, you will be pulled back and forth by every single tick. Think of how many ticks are inside of a two-minute bar, hundreds if not thousands, and each one of those moving you. This is an eternity, but it doesn't have to be an eternity with a specific method that keeps you focused on what matters and what doesn't matter, all right? Most people get pulled away from sound trading by what doesn't matter. They think that the insignificant movements in the market are significant, all right? And that is not, 15-minute um, warning, okay, cool. Good, good, good. So guys, there, there you have it, guys. I want you to be able to use this. I want you to be able to use the big bar, know that you use that near the moving average and away from the moving average, you flip from big bar to bar by bar and have a strong re-entry game, all right? And know that every 100% of the trades don't work. That's why we have an initial stop in the beginning, all right? So I would really love to be able to teach you the entire approach, 
um, all seven parts of a trade, the rules behind each one of the seven parts. I'd also like to fund you guys because traders are better traders when they're not trading their own capital. You should never want to be a depositor in the markets, guys. You should only want to be a withdrawer. No professional really trades their own capital on Wall Street, whether they work for a hedge fund, whether they own the hedge fund, they still have other people's money. Whether they're a billionaire, they still have other people's money. Whether they're talented on Wall Street, they're still trading someone else's money. Only novices, only retail does that. Now, I'm offering everyone the ability to do this the professional way. Put your money aside, trade my capital. Let's split the gains. I take all the losses. You're not responsible because if I can't get you profitable, then I'm the one at fault. So my traders go through this in the funded program. They, can, they show me they can make $3,000. You're done. You're graduated. Now let's go into business together. I drop some money in an account, $50,000 to start. You get 40% of the gains. I get 60%. Boom. If you, if you make $3,000, you go to $100,000 account. And if you meet the goal there, it's two fifty five hundred, dollars all the way up the ladder. All right? And there are literally hundreds of traders all over the world, guys, who've gone through this program and are trading professionally. Now, the program is called the Complete Trader Package, right, which, complete, which, which includes um, lifelong education daily, every single day of your life. You're educated, tra tra trained, as long as you're, you have money in, in my hands and your, my money in your hands, you're going to be trained, educated, study sessions, breakout sessions, um, trade reviews, you're going to be developed and nurtured. And if you have zero, not zero experience, that's even better. All right. I can get to paint our masterpiece on, on you without you coming with a lot of things that we would normally have to eliminate. All right. So complete package, including funding training for life. That's complete. Then that the complete package also includes the live trading camp, which is a focus on the first 20 minutes of the trade of trading. I want all of my traders to have the 20 minute trading skill, the ability to basically earn a very decent amount of money inside of the first 20 minutes. I do this every single day with my traders. Many of you have seen me do this. This is how I became relatively known on Wall Street. They used to call me the 20 minute trader. I want you to have that skill. So complete training for life and funding is the complete trader program. The package also includes the live trading camp. Now, guys, you can take them a la carte or both. Boom, $3,500 regular price. But just because you're here, $1,800 for everything. Now, guys, look, this is being educated for life by me and my best traders forever. This is, doesn't have an expiration date. It never ends. Funding for life as long as you want it. We, I will fund you so that you don't ever have to risk your family's capital. We will split the gains, all right? I take 40%. I mean, you take 40%. I take 60% because I take all the monetary risk. And you also get that 20-minute specialty, which is really an 11-week program where you're with me for 11 weeks focused on that first 20 minutes of trading. Very powerful. But here's something very, here's even more powerful. If you sign up, before the end of this weekend, you're going to get 60% of the payout on any capital you trade. I'll take the smaller amount, 40%. And I have an Oliver Velez Academy. This is like the Netflix of trading, every possible topic in trading. I have a barrage of videos that focus on that. This is a $3,000 value. It's yours for life for free. And it's being added to all the time. You get lifetime membership in the academy. That's a $3,000 offer. People are paying that alone. You get that $3,000 plus 60% payout, plus education, training for life, funding for life, $1,800. Guys, if you're, especially if you're from America, that's a dinner with family and two great bottles of wine for lifetime funding and education. It's very, very powerful, guys. You can do this. You can do this. I also have a wealth program for those who want to focus on longer term trading. Um, we've got uh, 650 wealth oriented traders. We scour the earth every single month for wealth building opportunities. Um, many people have become extraordinarily wealthy in this program over the past 12 years. This is a 12 year program. You know what the markets did over the last 12 years, 10 years. 
and we were right there for it. We're at a very critical time in the markets now. And for $2,000, normally $5,000 for life, this is a lifetime program, we will scour the earth every single month for amazing wealth building opportunities. And you see everything that I'm doing with my accounts. Very powerful as well. That includes the Bitcoin Trading Club, which I believe everyone should be involved with. And boom, for $2,000, you get the wealth in the Bitcoin Trading Club. So guys, look, follow me. Um, make sure you attend the event tomorrow on my YouTube channel, Dollar Cost Averaging on Steroids. And if you're considering becoming a family member, I welcome you in advance. Thank you very much once again. And thank you for not cutting me off today. I know I'm only teasing. It wasn't your fault. It was my fault. <laughs> All right, guys. Ciao. All right. Ciao. I love you. Love you guys. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for yet another fantastic presentation from Oliver Villets. Oliver, thank you so much, of course, thank for you. that fantastic presentation. And everyone in the audience, I hope that you enjoyed the event. Be sure to tune in next time for more great content. I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Boom, boom, boom. See you tomorrow. Ciao.